Can you hear me okay? Yes. So someone, I'm waiting for someone to say, you're, yes. you're on mute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that today. Um, this is really um, an honour. I just want to, to thank everyone, um, the team, poets and players. And I was, this was becoming something of a regular thing for me and then it just stopped um, brilliant workshops and all the things that they organised here. I'm going to start with a poem about lightning, but given where we are and what we've been through, I, I'm beginning to think this is about something else too. The poem's called Release. Release. In one instance, it is said, outer space has a scent of spent gunpowder. Imagine the silent barrel, a bullet sent. But in this case, the bang and the echo and its echo and an ozone aroma are the herald, not the trace. With so many puny hairs teased to leave their roots, to be taken willingly, a wish ungranted, that fat genie siphoned back to his lamp, this snipped off bungee of screaming light, ragged feather reaching leafless branch. Though the soul of a plumb line, always to the same curse, rising as spilling wax over careless hands to liquefy or pestle its prey when it does and does not quite kiss down, tentative and opposed as either one of those two toes on the foot of a chameleon or the tip of a gymnast's ribbon when it reaches but reacts, retracts, to be exact, to make certain contact. Um, I thought those birds were amazing and I'm glad by pure chance a bird poem. This is inspired by um, a visit to the Isle of Staffa. If you haven't been, I highly recommend. What are you, Puffin, if not our prodigal punk, underground and smuggling nothing? Then for years you'll wing it, piercing and weaving through wave under wave as much as above. Late last spring, your folks were Mayfair billionaires, burrowing. No pool or gin, but one cracking Fabergé permitted, and out pops a puffling looking naked already in a knee length fur. You've no plectrum shaped face, no proper orange swimming fins yet, but up and down will plot, meaning serious business in someone else's flip flops. Yes, you're getting the eye, each worried iris in its tiny triangle. That symbol of providence on the back of a one dollar bill. Like the secret of your own bill's counterfeit shades exposed one psychoactive day under ultraviolet, bright as a barbecue brick. In daylight, at a distance, great surfaces of you become flung crockery. Whole shelves of Claris Cliff flying from cliffs, wild fragments crashing back to land. Legs wide as a clown off a slide. For more kinky beak butting, clocking up the molecules with a kiss. There are myths too of a culinary kind. Your heart's dished up raw, so it's told. And while you should grow old in old puffins' homes, you can't grow tall or cast vast fishing lines. And so you wash ashore in scores. Wasting away with the ice down to its own last bones. Um, to mark Valentine's, which is approaching, um, two poems with a similar, pardon the pun, note or theme, neither of which cheerful on the subject of love. <laughs> I dedicate this to all the happily single people. <laughs> the first poem is called Making Way. Making Way. A key 
keeper, you said, of the house. But I sensed everything trying to make its way. Those errant velvet fingers from your orchid pots, the oak putting on its chainmail of ivy and moss and losing. The birds we fed still pinned to their shadows, crisp wasps electrocuted by views through grubby double glazing. And you, just weeks before, showing your wrists as if uncuffed, Asking for my thoughts on a fragrance. The next poem is called The Stopper, and this is one of those years after kind of poems when um, something just takes you absolutely back, and then you try to write about it, and <laughs> try, you try to capture that, that sense of it's déjà vu, but in this sense, in this moment, uh, déjà sense, dé déjà smelt. The stopper, the stopper lifted, and all we did undone, unfixes. Beneath this weight of days, reaching to weightlessness in wilderness, each field or beach, and every forest found that late night bath. We ran, my fingers parting, tangled the strands, our tracks in crops or sand. Then every moon phase slowly foaming over your sore shoulders. Risen blades of floating grass, the hidden notes, or unforgotten, unshared thoughts and thoughts where I drift but stand, suspended. What were you, spider, if not the unflushed, hauled back up on luck and your knee knuckles? Not much more than the bones of a tent with its top whipped off. Breeze dried through, you retuned as the many armed harpists, all prongs for strings to pluck to shivers, to strum in sun for a day. At first, you lived giddily on a windowsill, then on tenterhooks, on a thinning crochet clinging to its pin, catching airborne banquets falling horizontally. Rain came, lending globes for your orrery, but the cold made your domain craze like a trodden mosaic, overcrowded now, with no guests and no busy hosts except what's left in the neatening frost in which you formed like grief this brittle stylus of yourself this crisp claw to needle an infinite spiral I'm just going to check the time okay, I think I want to let small one before I read um, Moon I think since we're, we've seen birds, I want to carry on the bird theme. I seem to have all these um, what are you or what were you um, animal poems, just observing, trying to, trying to, to not keep the catch is not the right word, um, it, to evoke these things for myself and then often in drafts of these poems, they, they have to be put away for some time and then you re-encounter and wonder if the thing's still alive or like a bad cat, <laughs> um, pet or something and then you return and realise it might still have some life. What are you, owl, if not the wind's wild tuna, an herdable sky cat? Philosopher, my foot, more the quill swivelling killer, all plume roots and iris, they say your eyes are too big and round to allow for much mind. But we all know you're uploading data to the moon, winging over frost-groomed trees and tiles, 
folks fly by night cockerel. Yes, we find what's coughed up. We've seen your dirty Trump troll earplug pellets. We know you visited from what you've gifted, itchily relinquished, your tightly and politely compacted capsules of grief, the unholy remains of bony souls you snared to swallow, to regurgitate as tufted soundlessness. Your dinner made dumb and not listening, listening like us, not breathing, blue lit and hush, since you don't come near nearly enough, it has to be you, 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 or air. And I'll, I'll finish now with the um, poem that won the Poets and Players, and um, I was absolutely blown away because um, Shane Morrison was also a massive hero of mine, so for them to recognise your work, you know, you enter these things thinking, I'll make them look at my poem, um, and then you know they hear from them again. But for this to come back, and also poets and players, I mean, I think the competition's still open. I've went to the. It's come on. 23rd of Yeah, so there's still a chance to enter. Um, but the whole thing is absolutely uh, wonderful. The people you get to communicate with, um, and then I received a little pamphlet of my poem all printed inside. It's, the whole thing's brilliant. Um, uh, so I recommend. This poem is called Moon. Moon. Some bad amateur maths painted at blinking distance. A hackney bat like design for antlers. Salty ghost sucking crustily on the veins of a tree. Chimneys giving it the finger get met by nothing so tough in its serenity. There's no face on this pickpocketed fossil, but a face swallowing a face, because no final face has ever been achieved. It will take much more than a few kitchen windows to explain. Stare hard enough through a kettle's breath, and the aura of its rocky iridescence is sticky tape going rogue. Ambiguous attachments, clear commitment issues, now you see it. Now, found on baby blue, welcome back as that nightmare button thought lost in a cot. Singular mother of all mothers of pearl, floating speck on the retina of the world, eclipses fixed with a quick once over at the opticians. Slingshot chalk, ancient castle moat igniter, tied teaser. Sliced extrusion of seaside rock, blank at both ends, but all the way through, saying, Moon. Thank you very much.